In this test, we're going to use the Fluke 754 heart communicating calibrator to communicate with a heart smart temperature transmitter, identify its configuration, pre-configure itself for its test, document its performance, and perform the smart trim. Our connection, we have milliamp measurement connected to the power supply connections on the transmitter. We're going to provide 24 volt loop power from here and communicate to the transmitter over the milliamp signal jacks. We're going to simulate a type K thermocouple to the input of the transmitter while simultaneously measuring its milliamp output. To initiate the test, we would select heart and turn on loop power. In the initial handshake with the, with the transmitter, we see the tag of the transmitter, its PV, and its input range. To configure it for the test, we'd press heart one more time and select measure milliamps, source TC type K, and select as found for an instrument, and put the test tolerance, and select the auto test to document the performance before adjustment. As it's testing, it's applying an input temperature, capturing the milliamp measured value, and calculating error percent of span. The 50% value is applied, and the 50% milliamp value is measured and calculated. Then the full scale value is applied, and the 100% milliamp value is measured. When the test is complete, you get the applied temperature, milliamp, and error percent of span for each test point. Tag, serial number, and the ID of the person doing the work are recorded. In the event that the test had failed, we could select Adjust and perform the output trim and sensor trim on the smart transmitter. First, we're going to perform the output trim, fetch the 4 milliamp value, and send to make the adjustment. Continue to adjust the 20 milliamp point, fetch, and send. Next, we're going to trim the input to the transmitter, the input A to D. We're going to trim the lower range value first, then continue and trim the upper range value. After adjustment is complete, we can document the as left condition of the transmitter after adjustment. and perform the auto test and automatically record the applied temperature, measured current, and error percent of span after adjustment. First the 0% value, then the 50% value, then the 100% value, all being recorded to memory for later upload. You can see the applied temperature, current, and error percent of span. All errors in forward video indicate the test passed done, tag serial number and ID, done, and now we've documented the performance of a heart smart temperature transmitter using the Fluke 754 documenting process calibrator with heart.